Removing your cassette, which is the sprockets attached to your back wheel here, is an important job for keeping on top of your drivetrain maintenance and also allowing you to change your gear ratios, if that's your kind of thing. Now, it's a simple process, but you will need some specialist tools. The cassette is attached using a lock ring, so you need a special tool to undo that. And then also, because the cassette can spin one way, allowing you to freewheel, you need a way of stopping that, which is this thing here, a chain whip. We'll start by taking the back wheel out of the bike and then removing the skewer from the back wheel. You can now clearly see the lock ring there. Now there's two types, one for Shimano and SRAM, which is that type there, and then a different one for Campagnolo. And although they look very similar, they don't work with each other. So you do need to get the right one for your cassette. We'll start by putting the lock ring tool in. Now, for one like this, which is quite small, a really good tip is to thread your rear quick release back through it, which means that it can't fall out when you're tightening or loosening it. With a wheel at your feet, you now want to take the chain whip and wrap this length of chain around one of the sprockets. Now, I tend to go for one of the larger ones, but not the largest, so that you've got a bit of room to clear the spokes with your knuckles if you slip you don't want to skin your knuckles. So make sure that the chain is firmly attached and then you can brace it like that. Next, you want to take your adjustable wrench and then you want to push down on it with your right hand. So unscrewing it anti-clockwise. And you often need to use quite a bit of force at this point actually, because cassettes should be on quite tightly. But once it's free, it'll loosen really easily. Remove your quick release and your lock ring tool. And now you should find that the cassette slides smoothly off. You'll find that different cassettes are made up of different numbers of parts. So more expensive cassettes tend to have fewer parts. Some actually are even just machined out of one piece of material. Less expensive cassettes you'll find are probably just a cog separated by a spacer. Either way, they should all pull smoothly off. Now, if they don't, it might be because you've got an aluminium free hub body. And in my experience, cogs can often get stuck on these because they actually bite into the aluminium. But you'll probably find that just a gentle prise off with a screwdriver just to give it a bit of leverage and the cogs will just pop off. Now, if you're replacing your cassette with a new cassette, then there are one or two other compatibility issues you need to think about. And the first of those is how wide your free hub body is, so how many gears you can fit on it. 11 speed gears require an 11 speed free hub body, so those are the widest. You can put a little spacer in and then you could use an 11 speed free hub body with a 10, a 9 or an 8 speed. 7 speed cassettes are narrower still, so they require a completely different free hub body as well. When it comes to replacing your cassette, it is reassuringly difficult to get wrong. And that's because of all these ridges on the free hub body here. There's actually one that's slightly different and it's much narrower with a wider gap either side. Now that there is your guide because you can't put a cog on unless it lines up with that, meaning that it's impossible to put one on back to front and all the clever little ramps that are machined into the cassette that help with shifting will be in exactly the right place when you put it on. As with the lock ring tool, a Shimano and SRAM cassettes will only work with a Shimano and SRAM compatible free hub body, whereas Campagnolo requires a different free hub body. Although, in what is perhaps a first for the bike industry, 11 speed cassettes from Shimano and SRAM will work with Campagnolo gears and vice versa, which I don't think has ever happened before, and it's a good thing to know. When it comes to tightening the lock ring back down, you won't actually need a chain whip this time to hold the cassette in place because you're tightening it in the direction that you pedal. There we go then, a very simple process that requires just two specialist tools. Now, if you want to see a video about choosing gear ratios, which I alluded to at the top of this video, then you can get through to one just by clicking up there. Or to see when you should be replacing your cassette because it's worn out, then we have a video showing you exactly how to do that just down there. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN. You can do that by clicking on me, and that will mean that you are in the right place every Monday for a new maintenance video.